For some dinner right now, Xander didn't prepare ahead of time, so now we're left with Hungry clothes. boys. We're good. Yeah. We made it. We're uh, together now in- Whoa, 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 wait a minute. How did we get here? We go to schools on opposite sides of the world. Quite far apart, actually. Let's rewind the clock a little bit. Ah, uh, not quite. Just a little further back. Third grade. I was the only one not invited to Xander's birthday party. The entire class got an invite, but not me. Kind of funny, looking at where we are now. <laughs> it took till sixth grade when neither of us had friends to reconnect. And we did a lot of shit. That was the beginning. Anyways, we went back and forth a bit. I switched schools multiple times. And although we didn't always stay crazy close, we always stayed connected. Oh wait, that one. February 26th. Remember that date. It's gonna be important later. All right, let's fast forward a bit. It's 2023, I'm in Scotland. Decided to fly to Italy for a week to explore. Xander didn't wanna miss that. It was something we had talked about doing in the past. So he took a week off and we traveled around to see as much as we possibly could. We also visited a high school friend of ours who lives in Italy, Jacopo. All caught up? Good, because this story is about to get crazy. How do you beat 10 cities in eight days? That's a crazy stat we collected last year, but we had to go bigger. All right, think. We were trying to see 100 countries before we turned 30. This episode of traveling the world to get to 100 countries is brought to you by Snickers. Let's knock a few off. Spain, I haven't been, heard it's beautiful. Portugal, next door neighbors. Close enough, add it to the list. Ah, we can't stop at two though. Morocco is pretty close. I wonder... It's Africa, new continent, unlocked. Let's go. Yeah, three countries, eight days. That'll do. I've always liked an analogy, and you know, going back to this friendship thing, it's kind of like a run. Before you even start, you kind of have an idea of where you're gonna go. But then, when you actually get out there, the world's waiting. Starting in Madrid, we had the yearly hug in a different country. Is, um... And then we were off. Toledo, Valencia, a few places in between, trying to see all that we could. We did that, flew a drone in the countryside, check. So I mentioned Jacobo earlier. Hello, I'm Jacobo. He's a good friend of Xander and myself. We met him senior year in high school and have stayed in touch ever since. Last year we skied, explored, and went out with him in his hometown. This year we met him in Valencia. I love Jacobo. He's a classy yeah, Italian Valencia. man. Knows how to show you a good time. Just a fun dude to be around. Some plans came up last minute that we weren't expecting and we weren't actually positive we were going to get to see him. But Jacobo pulled through. We stayed up till 3 a.m. or hopping and clubbing the night away. Xander has found some women. Love that Spanish life. Eventually it was time to say goodbye. We'll see you again next year, Jacobo. We're very excited. Xander and I were off to our next That's destination. airport. First time on a plane together too. <laughs> Kinda crazy considering how much we've traveled. Off we go, Xander. Oh yeah, and I was sick too. Finn is going downhill really fast. He feels sort of sick, lightheaded, shaky and achy. Had not eaten all day and I was starting to feel shaky and turning pale. But we pulled through. You're off to Africa. Pulled up to Marrakesh at 1 a.m. And the next chapter started. Neither of us had ever stepped foot in Africa before. So going into Morocco, we had the high of the unknown. The first day of exploration started with a three and a half hour drive up into the Atlas Mountains to see a popular destination, Uzu Falls. This was a cool excursion to a unique waterfall and an awesome view. Yeah, look at this view. Today was February 26th. I mentioned this earlier, but it's kind of a cool one. You see, by some insane chance, Xander and I have been in a different country doing something new and exciting every single year. Three years ago, we were out in the Oregon countryside, standing on a crashed plane. Last year, we were traveling through Italy with a pit stop at one of the most famous locations, the Leaning Tower. And well, this year, we were far up in the Northern African mountains. I've said it before, but the adventures that Xander and I have been on have far exceeded my imagination. Every single year, we are somewhere new, exploring something incredible. We are always chasing that high, going from one site to the next. It's intoxicating. 
Okay, day two. I never would have guessed Sandra and I would be 2,000 feet up in the air in Morocco. But that's just part of the journey. The whole trip has been amazing this far, but like, Morocco was the highlight. So much of our energy and focus was put towards this. We had the falls, the hot air balloon, the desert, and I haven't even got to the marketplace yet, which leads me to the marketplace. It was everything I could have wished for. From the tuk-tuk rides around town, to the busy congestion, what more do you want? It felt like we were in Indiana Jones, exploring some new hidden town with great adventures awaiting. The commotion and craze of the marketplace and streets were unlike anything you'd see in the UK or the States. At the end of our three-day excursion in Morocco, it was time to leave. We're getting on a plane, we're heading for the next destination. Let's get going. All great adventures have a close and ours was nearing. We still had Lisbon, which was spectacular. The town, the food, the good vibes. But I do think by the time we finally reached Portugal, we were just exhausted. You see, when most people travel, they are relaxing and take a rest from the day-to-day -day grind. But Xander and I have a different philosophy. Push, push, push. See as much as you can, don't stop. There is something kind of amazing about how much you can do in a week. This journey is about travel, but it's also about friendship. We have seen and done so much together. All right, we're, uh, we're heading off. So many of the running videos, which I have posted on this channel, have come from Xander being behind the camera. And part of that creative outlet cannot come from just one person. While I love running through all these countries, it takes Xander behind the camera to get these shots. It takes both of us to make a journey like this work and to see the adventure through to the end. The journey must come to an end. Thanks, Xander. Hey, hi. Hi, boys. Thanks, Subscribe.